team, it is Tuesday, February 4th. This is our Lunch and Learn, and this is always a fan favorite Lunch and Learn, because what today's topic is, is all of our favorite topic, which is the jewelry. How do we blend the existing jewelry um, with the new pieces? And that is always a fun thing to work on, because... You know, you may have three new pieces of jewelry, you might have 10 new pieces of jewelry, but over the course of the season, you'll of course gradually continue to add new pieces. Um, if you haven't uh, yet looked, remember that we posted the link of all of the things that you can pick that's new for your rich rewards. So please refer back to that link. And actually I'll put in the comments on there some additional pieces that still seem to be able to show up because there was more on there that you could pick with rich rewards. I did a couple myself just the other day. Um, if you have, of course, you know, rich rewards is the, and kits are the only place there's a restriction. So if you have gift cards that you built up over the season that you're ready to use, you can get anything you want. If you're placing a two and four order, um, you can pick anything you want. And remember, there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting a few pieces of jewelry that way. You get paid on it. So if you place an order where you're buying too low and you get yourself the Juliet necklace, that's only 28. And then this Brinley, that's only 30. That is selling like hotcakes. And then get yourself one or two half price items. Qualify for a bonus item. Grab yourself a Constellation or one of the um, higher end pieces. It's money well spent, it's rich rewards points, and it's, um, it's going to turn around, you're going to get paid on it, and you're going to make money because now you have new low items. There's only so long that you can keep going to people with crepe and dotty and Moana's. Eventually, they're like, yeah, I have those. Yeah, I have those. Yeah, I have those. So you need to come out with the heiress necklace. You need to come out with... Um, the Juliet, which is the heart, and we'll sure we'll show you that today. And then, um, you know, you're all of a sudden you're back with people like, oh my gosh, now I'm gonna have to place an order because there's so many things I want, and that's the state that we always want them in. So today, uh, the leaders and I are prepared to share with you a couple of new combinations that you can show at your shows that will help you create desire for the jewelry. It will help you uh, build two and four orders, which will drive your sales. And then when people have so many items that they want that they can't possibly get them all at the party, that of course drives your bookings and even your recruiting. So I'll start with this, the look that I have on. Now it's funny because when you do gray and black, your tendency is to do silver right? But in reality, the hunter earrings actually are gold. <laughs> so if you've never seen these up close, this part is gold. So whenever I wear these, it throws me for a loop a little bit because I would rather stick with the gold, even though what I'm wearing it with is black and gray, which is normally a silver thing. So I said, okay, let's, but I do love these earrings. So let me go ahead and is, is, do you hear that noise of Skipper with the bone? Like, is that distracting? Because I'll shut the door if it is, because he's really on my last nerve today. I had a call with Belinda right before this, and he was out of control. I don't know what the heck is going on with this today. Whose dog is barking? Oh, Am I that's, not on mute? That's me, my dog. That's you, okay. fellas. All right. I think that's what's bothering me. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think you thought you were muted. So, okay, so I did the hunter earrings, which then I said, all right, let me go with gold. But of course, I said, let me blend the existing earrings with the new bracelet. Now, fun fact, Michelle Zito never wears bracelets like this, ever. I don't really generally like fat bracelets. I don't really like wrap bracelets. It's just not my look. However, I look pretty cool today, right? Like, I probably could wear this, right? I was actually going to ask you how comfortable was that. It's Same. very comfortable. Is it, it is? not stiff? No, it's a yeah, like how do you... If you sprain your wrist, this is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put it around my ankle? Way more no. attractive than a, an ace bandage. Um, I do have it on the second setting, and that's always something to point out, because that's always a concern of people with these types of bracelets. So always point out that there are two settings 
smaller and larger. Don't say small and large because nobody wants to think of a bracelet as that they need large. So I always say we have a smaller setting and a larger setting to accommodate whatever's more comfortable for you. Okay, not to accommodate your fat wrists, right? We gotta say things like to make it more comfortable for you. And it is quite soft and definitely something that will be softer as you wear it. So I'm figuring this is the stiffest it'll ever feel because it's brand new. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so then I wanted to build a look from there. So I decided to do a little street sweep, which is of course when you blend something edgy, which would be the snake skin, with something softer, which I went with the pearls. So that's why I did the Brinley necklace. Now this necklace, if you don't have this in your kit yet, put this on your list right now. Everybody is taking this as one of their low items. It's $30 on the dot. It looks beautiful and it's really appealing to all ages. Um, cause Teresa grabbed, I ordered two of these by accident and my daughter grabbed one immediately and wore it to a sweet 16 the same night. And she said her girlfriends loved it. Um, I thought I would give it a shot. I'm not sure I love the second part here, but I threw in the Blair, Blair? What is this called? Briar. Briar. Why do I, all season I'm calling this thing Blair, <laughs> just so you know. We're now season two and I don't know this name. Briar? Briar. Okay, so I did the Briar necklace, which we have a lot of Mother of Pearl this season. So you could always transition talking about Mother of Pearl if you're starting with this. If they love Mother of Pearl and you want to do more of an everyday t-shirt necklace, go with your Briar. No? Yes? Briar. Um, if you're in the mood for more of a statement look, then you're going to bust out the Vera necklace all mother of pearl as well, multiple strands. Um, I know you would think of this, this is what I've been saying, you know, obviously when you look at this, you're like, oh my gosh, amazing for summer. Yes, we know this. But in the meanwhile, we're wearing a whole lot of boring clothes right now. A lot of black, a lot of brown, a lot of gray. Give yourself a little pop and give yourself a little pop of white here and you will turn heads. When you wear this, you get compliments every single place you go. Believe me, because it's been happening. You can wear it with a dress, you can wear it with a t-shirt, all of these fun things. So that was the, um, that was one of my first ones, to do a little street sweep doing snakeskin and pearls. All right, Jen, you're up. Okay, I think, well, I have a couple of them. One of them you have to use your imagination because I don't have the rose gold one. But I was playing with Brindley, or uh, Sydney, and definitely a pair that you could do it with the silver, but I think it would look amazing mm -hmm. with the rose gold um, echo necklace. It definitely has the softer um, little beads to it, and with the crystals in it, you're still kind of getting that street look that Michelle talked about also, because you've got the chain, the crystals instead of the pearl. But that one with the rose gold is going to look really pretty. And then if you didn't want to do all the layering, but just wanted to add earrings, I think that the Fable earrings that lots of our customers love and have is a fun um, pair with this. Just because it kind of has that same shape, the um, sort of that teardrop looking um, look to it. And so just a really simple um pair that's a great everyday look especially for moms on the go it's an easy look to just add a great earring and a very simple um necklace so that's one that i've been playing with love the phrase moms on the go did everybody write that down because that's something that a lot of moms struggle with like i would like to not look like a hag at the bus stop i would like to look cute when I have to run in and hand something in at the office at school. Because once upon a time, we did all these things all the time. Then you get awfully tired and awfully less cute. You know, that's why all you moms in your 30s that are on this team, I promise you, you look a thousand times better than me than I did in my 30s. When I look back at pictures from my 30s, I'm like, oh my, why was I so ugly and frumpy? It was bad. That's one of the things in, in my VIP group that I am talking about this week um, is that, yeah, just that. Like, my go-to, and all of you know this, is whether I have on a blouse like I do today or a t-shirt, like, I'm always putting on a vest. 
And because in California, it's not really cold, but I just need that extra layer in the morning. And then to put on jewelry with it, it instantly just elevates, you know, jeans and a t-shirt. So yeah, those are good things. Love it. That's such a great tip, Jen, to share with anybody who's like just wanting to get out the door and look a little more put together than average. And that red with that um, animal print you have going on there really is. Fun. I know. I grabbed, I mean, I y'all know I have like every color and every vest. And <laughs> today I was like, oh, that's actually cute. I like that. Just so that you see the color matching Jennifer was talking about, here it is in the rose gold. And this is definitely a great layering. Um, and these are all designer inspired pieces. Mm -hmm. Another suggestion I would give for the, because the Fable is definitely an awesome suggestion to wear with the Sydney. I was actually checking out too how good they look with the tutus because of the yes eating look how That's similar this like, almost looks like a set i think they show that in the catalog and it does it's spectacular oh okay so i'm not that smart okay <laughs> no well, i mean like that <laughs> no i'm laughing at myself so yeah this and then this is 36 this is 36 or 30 on the dot so here's your two low items. You have a complete set. Mm -hmm. If they add one or two items at half price, take this for your bonus item. Belinda Ellsworth would say that's bundling, right? So if somebody wants a really complete buildable set, because maybe when you first go out, you only have this on. And maybe it's with the dotties. And then maybe later in the day, you're adding these. Later in the night, if you're going out, you know, you add this on. So a nice buildable <laughs> All right. Any questions for Jennifer or anything you you would pack on to that little riff? Jen, since you, I see you're ready with another neck. I was just going to show on. just another echo. So another look with the echo, because I know so many people have taken that over the last couple of seasons yes. as bonus items. So that's going to be just a really good go-to to show other looks with. And so um, the Juliet is another really fun one to add um, to the Echo also. And another buildable set, because that's, if somebody doesn't have the pre-existing Echo, then this is 28, and the Goddess earrings are 36. These are another set that you must add to your kit, these earrings right here. They're called Goddess, they're $36. They're the hammered silver, and the funniest thing is that, I, so I'm at Jenner, I wore these to the meeting that we had in Fresno with Jen's team, right? And they were like, oh my God, those earrings are amazing. They're so sparkly. And I'm thinking, oh, the hammer provided that much sparkle? That's nice. I go home, I take them off. It took until I was home for three days and saw someone else post them this way before I realized that they were referring to the crystals on the front. I had no idea there were hematite crystals in these earrings. Same. So they're <laughs> the best deal in the catalog for $36. And then again, you'd have 36, the Juliet is 28. One more half price item most likely, that they can grab an Echo. All right, um, Phyllis, you wanna go? My little girl is quiet right now, so I'm good. Go perfect. <laughs> okay, so I chose to um, to work with our new velvet earrings, and I absolutely love these velvet earrings. And I've gotten a couple of orders just since yesterday for them, um, putting them in as soon as I get off this call because I don't want them to disappear. But one of the things that I really like about the velvet, and I don't have my box yet, so I would probably prefer to wear this with the Brinley because the Brinley is so small. But watching you guys, I see that I could do it with the Briar as well. The necklace, is that the Briar you have on, Michelle? I, yeah, that's what they I tell me. Do, I would do it with the Briar. And the reason why I really like this when I bought it home is because generally when I show up at church on Sundays, I have on bling. But before coming to Park Lane, I was a pearl person because in law firms, that's just the culture of a law firm. And a lot of my customers are women of a certain age and church girls. <clears throat> and this is the perfect combination now. 
for my church girls. I usually sell them the, um, what do we call this? The Dolly earring that has the big pearl. Right. The, so the heiress necklace is something that I keep. Yes, that's perfect with the heiress necklace. And the heiress is again in the, in the catalog again this time. It's very reasonably priced and it gives you a conservative look. So that when I'm at my parties and I've got trays full of bling and people say, well, I dress very conservatively. So now I can do an entire tray with conservative jewelry because just this, that's what these earrings gave me an idea to do a tray for my conservative girls. Now, yes. a lot of my people took this necklace when it was in the catalog, which is called Fanfare. Remember Fanfare? Right. Yeah. It has that on the end of it. So Fanfare is one of those necklaces that you don't have to wear all of it at the same time. So it has this little pearl on it. So you could even wear it with just a little pearl and not the gold strand. So I would do that. And I also like with these earrings, I like the lunar necklace. The yes. lunar is very pretty with the fresh water. I can't wait to get my fresh water pearl earrings so that I can pair them with the lunar necklace. So I'm going to do the fresh water pearls that we have, that hoop with the one pearl that hangs off, which is really popular for some. Yes, thank you, Michelle. I, I have seen that on TV probably a half dozen times in the last two days. Yes. I, yeah, yes, I have. I've seen it a lot. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to show you that would look good with that, which is um, the cream bracelets, creme or creme bracelets. Yeah. The mantra bracelet which is back in the catalog again, which is the wrap bracelet. I have a lot of people who like wrap bracelets. So I found a whole bunch of things. Oh, and one more thing, the natural earrings. These, yes. are, these are very pretty. And these are absolutely perfect with the pearl part of this fanfare necklace. So I, I know that I have customers who have the fanfare that I'm going to be showing these to when I go out to do my show this Saturday. The group that I'm doing a show with this Saturday has lots of Park Lane jewelry. They really only like to have parties when our catalog is released so that they can add on. And I found that this collection is perfect for adding on to the past collection, more so than any other I've ever, I remember getting. So that's my look for today. My look is for the conservative girl. And I want you all to know that I am in my pajamas and I threw this top on just so that I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> so when Michelle said that, I said, oh my God, what am I going to put on? But I thought this looks nice because if you want to show your decollete, yes. it's just perfect. But I think you can't go wrong with a pair of these earrings. And I was just surprised that everybody called me last night and said, get me those, get me those. And for yes. the $40, they took one of the, they took, some people took two heiress necklaces because well, they that was going to be my next suggestion. So the heiress the necklace is now 30. Right. Those earrings that Phyllis is wearing, which I think is like fun conservative, you know, right. when you're when you're styling it like this, they look conservative. Right. If you styled it with bling, they would look, you know, a totally different look. Totally different. Mm -hmm. But the um, if you were to get the heiress necklace is thirty, and then the matinee pearls are twenty two, which is just our basic little pearl studs. So if you had a customer that just wanted to spend the as close to the 40 in order to qualify for the velvets, then just get them the matinees that are 22, and then they'd be at um, 52, which is close. They're getting the necklace and the earrings. Um, and then go ahead and order uh, the necklace and these earrings, and then they would also qualify for the others. The, my other lower priced item would be the namaste ring. Because people who are conservative like little dainty things. Mm -hmm. So Namaste was also one of the items that I was using as a lower price item. So they really could get a lot for their money with this whole look. Absolutely. A whole collection. A whole pearl collection. Yeah. But that's it for me. And that's a great um, thought, Phyllis, what you were saying about doing a tray. If you're theming your trays, to have a tray that's a little more career wear conservative type look. So thank you so much for that. Great job. All right, Belinda, are you ready? <laughs> I'm always ready. I was gonna say I'm not ready, but I'm gonna say I'm always ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I've been pairing the Jada earrings with our jelly bracelets. 
because mm. um, they go really good. So then when it comes to a necklace, only because it kind of has like a little rose gold in between, I think that it's, it's kind of looking good with the petals. And you pull, I don't know if you can see it. It pulls mm -hmm. out the pink flower on it. Yeah. So when you put it all together, you'll be able to see it more like on a plain canvas, like a light white shirt off off white. Um, I've also been doing it with the macaroon, which macaroon has all the colors, but when hold on, let me flip this over. <laughs> there you go. Um, but when you put the pink in it, it pulls out the pink in the actual oh, yeah. necklace. You got to like really see it in person and you'll be able to see the colors. Like it kind of really looks like it goes with it. Um, the other thing I've been doing is, uh, you can also do it with confetti if you want to do it with confetti. Um, but that one has more green and stuff in it. I've been doing the same, the Echo, because Echo has been my biggest seller and I cannot get rid of it. So I've been adding pieces to it to give it a look. So I put the L necklace in it um and i've been selling it together which is a big thing for me because they're nice price items yeah um so they'll get the l a half off and this one for 25 so far um and then they'll they'll have to pick and choose if they want this bracelet or not and for the most part they'll take it a half price so we'll do the whole um ensemble i've been using the siesta earrings for that necklace, the Vera necklace that you just show, I don't have it, but I, that's what I've been pairing it with. You know the Vera necklace that you just have, Michelle? Show it up so that you can have a necklace. Vera. Oh. That one. So because of the shell here. Yes. And I also do it with the briar. You. I like yeah. that combo. Yeah, but I can't, I don't have the necklace. So I'm like, I need to get the necklace. So this is what I've been selling to go with that. Because a lot of people don't like, um, they still like the hanging pieces. So I think that it doesn't look like too much because it's not like a big earring. It kind of is elongates it's your- thin. That's yeah. it's thin. Exactly. Yeah. So I've been using this for that, for Briar also, because it has the same color piece. Yes. yes. Well, the mother of pearl, yeah. Yep. That's so, a good one. I think that's about it. Even this one, the um, what is this one called? I have no idea. Stage coat. Stage coat. Yeah, there you, you can even add it to that if you wanted to. It's not, you know, it doesn't I guess because they're the round stone and then the round um piece at the bottom and then the round circle on the top. That does look great. You know what it is? The the, the beads on the stage coats are so chameleonish. It says in the catalog, ashy purple or something like that. Now, yeah. if right there, they take on, the way Belinda has it, it's taking on that mother of pearl whitish look. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, Jen, say something so you'll be on the screen. Yes, here I am. <laughs> that, it's taking more of like the, brand, the like beige almost because of her animal print. And but if fun I had worn this today here, they look completely gray. Correct. So this one, because definitely put this in your kit, the stage. When coat. you put the Siesta earrings, this little piece right here, it's like, they look like they're the same color. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, Love it. yeah. That's it. You, you you told me like two seconds ago, so there. There you yeah, go. Yeah, everybody, we, this, that's because this is what we do. We don't we don't need a lot of notice. Um, well, I feel like the stage coach has been real, like, it's just been a really great one to match with so many earrings. Yeah. I've been wearing it with Buzz a lot. Um, today I put Lala on because I couldn't find what I did with my Buzz. Um, yeah, I can't find like, Lala. I just think that, yeah, there's so many. You definitely could wear a Twizzler with it. You could just do a stud and do silver yep. because of the beads, like Michelle said, being chameleon looking. Like it's it's a really wonderful piece. Well, what I would even with the um, stagecoach, what's the bracelet that looks just like that? The wrap, the um, the cuff bracelet that's the hammered gold that looks like a Wonder Woman. Oh, the Wonder Woman one. I don't know what it's called. 
Because that would it's look like, amazing. If you kept the earrings simple and you did that statement bracelet mm -hmm. with that stagecoach, that's, oh, yes, Belinda, go ahead, show that one. That one. I feel like a Wonder Woman with it, though. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one that I find uncomfortable because I find it very, because it's very stiff, but it would certainly look that's hard. Amazing. Yeah. But this one's also look cute with that necklace that you're wearing with the stage, mm -hmm. the little um, Haley. The Haley's, yeah. If you wanted to wear just the stud, because again, it picks up the same color of that stone. That's a good one, too. That looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, buildable sets because the Haley's are 26. Um, you know, the, we, there's so many, we've, we've really thrown a lot of price points out here and people can really build a lot of nice sets with that. Um, with the Jada, which again are those pink earrings, um, I actually brought something out of what I call the vault that is super popular and a different piece re-inspired me to bring it back in. So I am finding this constellation necklace to be an absolute showstopper at my party. Um, we showed it at the Sleeping Style, people went crazy for it. I showed it at my show on Saturday, a woman came in, she really only had like a gray velvet, like the velour jumpsuit, <laughs> the velour sweatsuit. But she had her, the jacket was open with a gray tank top. I put this on her. They all went like as if I hired them. They all went, oh, oh my, that looks amazing. Look at how that dresses that up. You have to get that. She got it. I had two, a woman that all she had on her, her list was four high items. So I said, okay, so you want to buy this one and get this one for 25 and then buy this one and get this one for 25 And she said, yes. Yeah. So I really just, I didn't tell her I was making two orders out of it, but that's what I did. She bought this full price for 90 and then took, I think, an impression bracelet for 25 and then did the same thing again with two other high items. So just from a sales standpoint, remember, that's an option. You don't have to take somebody that has four items and start backtracking them into, well, why don't you get two low items? I can make this half. That, they actually have to add a lot of things to ultimately get what they want. If somebody has four high items, one, two, three, four. She was like, oh my goodness, this was amazing. I saved almost $400 on this order. She didn't get worked up about that she didn't do the two and the half and all that. She would have been worked up if I tried to make her do that. So anyway, this has been hugely popular and it reminded me how much people love chains like this. Now, those of you that have been around a while may recall Unicorn. So what I did was I brought Unicorn back to the park. Now this was not in last season's catalog. It was in the previous few before that. And look at the sparkle on this and look how amazing it looks with the Jada. Ooh. So I am selling these like crazy already that people were like, wait a minute, this is new, but I don't see it in the book. I'm like, oh yeah, this is, it's, it's a special edition. I didn't even like say that, oh no, this is actually three catalogs old. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it just blends so beautiful. And again, when they fall in love with this, they also fall in love with this. And this one is 90, this one is 94. So they can either buy one in half, get one as their bonus, you know, like Belinda said, or you use these as your booking tools, right? Well, I mean, if you're booking a show, you can, you know, either you can get this for you for 25 or you can take this one home today, however you choose to run your business and then just replace it. But this is a really delightful little combination that people are falling in love with. Can you take the pendant? I know it comes off of the constellation. Um, Ooh, can you slide it onto unicorn? Let's see. Okay, so this pendant just is on a like a hinge. And I see you have to put the necklace on you first, but OMG. Yes. Okay, we just discovered something new. All right, we're gonna go kill it. Everybody get a unicorn, show both and start. Oh, but wait, let me see. 
you'd have to put it on, you'd be better off putting it on the, I put it on one of the fat beaded sections and it popped back open. You wanna put it on a thin part that's the same as the other necklace. Yeah, you totally can do that. Why doesn't this wanna shut again? Oh, cause I didn't click it. Okay, there's a click. Oh my gosh, I love it. Totally different look too, right? It looks lighter this way. You know what else I like with that? I love this new blush bracelet with that. Mm -hmm. And the um, in my conservative tray, I don't know, I haven't looked yet to see if Tilly is still available, but the Tilly is pretty with it too. I think the Tilly is on sale for 20 bucks with a, with a purchase. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's really pretty with those earrings too. All right, we are um, about 30, almost 40 minutes in. Did anyone come to the call prepared wanting to share one? Because I don't want to make, I don't want to hang up and jip you of your opportunity to share. Was there anyone anxious to show us something? Hi, Michelle. My name is Maria Martinez, also known as Angie. Yes, um, I hello. Know you guys, I know you guys don't know much about me. I am absorbing all this information. I am a promise Phil is that I am going to have a banging business. This is, my this is my year and I have a lot of stuff that I'm working as far as knowing my customers and what would work for them because not two customers are the same. So uh, I have a lot of stuff that's coming up and I promise you guys I don't have a look today because I have not received my order yet but I will at some point you guys will see me in action. Fill his nose. This is not my normal look. Okay. So. That white top is just screaming out for that jewelry kit. For to something, come. for something, right. But I will show you guys my style sense. I have plenty of that. It Wonderful. Just, we look forward to it. So hang on tight for me. <laughs> Um, if all of you ladies that shared today, well, not you, Belinda, you're still in your workout clothes, but Phyllis, Jennifer, <laughs> if you could, Phyllis especially, I would really like you to take a photo in, of that that we could use because we need more um, pictures with those earrings. And um, just so that you guys know, in the mock, a few, few things I just want to wrap up with, but, um, in the mock VIP and uh, the mock VIP and resources group, we have all kinds of folders for you to go ahead and use with your VIP group. And one of the things we added was a folder that's called Women of Color. So if you've been wanting greater representation in all of your postings, um, we have outrageous pictures of every shade and color and age of women. So um, take a look at that if you haven't yet already. Um, the second thing I would share is that we have, we are this close to releasing a love at first sight sale. So we're just waiting on the um, one more round of posts of the low items. Um, the committee is just finishing it up right now. And then all you have to do is do a day of teasers that the sale is coming and then just schedule all those posts. I do recommend just doing the posts within your group so that you can use your scheduling feature. If you set up an event in your group, which I do do just to let everybody know that the sale is coming, but it still takes place just right in the group because if you do it in an event in the group, you can't use your scheduling feature. And it's so much more convenient, you know, tonight after this is us to just sit and schedule all of your posts or during the commercials and then tomorrow, Friday, you know, the days that the sale runs, the posts just automatically happen while you go about your day. And as people comment, you can answer questions, you can say, got it, it's yours, and you can run that sale. So just want to let you know that that is imminent um, to be released. And all you have to do, as always, is cut and paste and um, just adjust the, the wording a little bit so that not all of them go up the same and, and um, Facebook doesn't flag it as spam, you know, that so many of us are using the same words. Plus it's always nice to kind of make it sound a little more like you. Um, the final thing that I would suggest, and I shared the video about this yesterday, um, but I wanted to share with you how this is going because 
Sylvia did a live for us la um, earlier in the week about how to start taking pre-orders for the blush impression bracelet. Now, Park Lane has decided that these orders can go on shows. So unlike before where these had to be individual orders, now we can put them on shows, which means that you can tack an order onto an existing show or you can start building your own show right now. That's what I started. I opened up a show and I'm putting the orders so that the day it comes out, all I have to do is reopen it. I'm running all the credit cards now for the totals. I am, the day that this releases, I have to just open the show, enter the item number for each impression bracelet, and hit send. I'll have picked out my hostess benefits, everything, and now I'm the hostess, and we'll add all of these new things. I will add a bunch of new more items to my kit. But here's what I wanted to share with you. I, I did the live that I shared with you guys in our group yesterday, where the theme of the live was $40-ish items. <laughs> And I showed them Sydney and, um, you know, coconut and all kinds of things, Jada, that are in the vicinity of $40 or so. 40 to 50 is what I showed. And immediately I started getting messages. Definitely want to pre-order. So one of my customers immediately messaged after, here's my pre-order. I want Sydney and the blush impressions. Let me know my total. So her total was going to be $77 or so. She was so excited. And then she goes on to say, oh my gosh, this, this catalog's killing me. I have like a million things I want. So I said to myself, you know, I really should see if she would rather do a complete two and four order because she's already 40 almost half the way to a bonus item with a $40 purchase. So I said, you know what, let me try something. Tell me something to what's the lowest price thing on your list. She tells me a $28 thing. I said, okay, tell me another lowish item. And it turned out to be another $28 thing. So now I made Sydney half. I said, tell me one more. Gives me another one. I said, now tell me the highest thing on your list. Cause now I had her at 91 on the dot. So she tells me her highest one. She's like, oh my God, it was a bracelet that she was dying for. Okay. I said, so if you want to do the other order, your total is 77 and you're saving 166. If you want to do this order, you're saving 288 and your total is 160. She texts back, what? This was all on Facebook Messenger while she's at work. Oh my goodness, of course I'm doing that. So I said, okay, great. I'll, she, she Venmoed me immediately. And then she messaged me back about 15 minutes later and said, did you know you just saved me 60% on those items? I said, no, because I love math people. Thank you so much for telling me that. Now, that was really like the right thing to do for her, right? Because she was already spending 40. Why wouldn't I give her the opportunity to spend another 50 to get what she wants as a bonus item when she's full on telling me I have a giant list? So she could have, of course, said, oh my gosh, yes, that's amazing, but not in the budget. I'll stick with my Sydney. At least I'll know I did my job and gave her the opportunity to do that. But instead, she did take me up on it, thanked me profusely, and is the happiest girl in Rochester, New York. So just wanted to let you know that when people want to do these pre-orders, offer more. They can decline it, but what if they don't? You'll have so much more sales. So be smart about these things. When they need to place an X dollar order to get it, make them do that. Don't just, you spend 40 and let everybody place a bunch of non-orders. That does not help you build your paycheck. It helps you build your trip points. It helps you build your rich rewards. But like, like let's make some money, right? So <laughs> make them place. A $40 order is quite reasonable to get a $200 bracelet for 25 so I just wanted to share that little experience because that's what I've been doing with everyone placing a pre-order and um, it's really working well. Good question. Oh. How, how yes. many of the bracelets can you order for one person? You know, with the blue, there was a limit of three. So okay. it didn't that's indicate there would be a limit, but I think we might need to be prepared for a limit. Because um, I did the same thing with a customer yesterday, the same exact, you know, where she had all these things. So I, I think she went up to 155, 56, but I took one of the items of her list 
which was the paradig paradigm rings. I don't know how you say. Yeah, yeah, that and um, those were forty eight. So I said, let me put this order through now, which I put it through yesterday, and this forty eight dollar one I'm gonna keep for when it's available. And she says, but I want one for me, one for my dog. <laughs> and that's because I posted Scott's dog picture. I said the bracelet is beautiful, but the you know it doesn't come with the doggy. Like I made it like a funny. <laughs> and she was like, I was just gonna get one, but I can't borrow it from my dog. She's gotta keep it. I'm like, no, you cannot. So <laughs> I'm sure she ordered three. She ordered three though. She ordered one for her mom, one for herself, and one for the dog. I mean, she placed an order, so. Hopefully you can do all three. Yeah, if not, you I'm gonna have, have a to limit of something. three. So I okay. guess we'll see. Okay, I hope so. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Well, thank you to everybody who shared, and um, I hope this helped you decide what next couple of items you want to pick up with your rich rewards or add to your kit, and to uh, sharpen those sales skills. Um, speaking of which, I did start the. Um, Stylists Who Want More program last night. Uh, we had a whole bunch of girls come on. It's, this is for those of you that are a stylist or a branch and you're ready to move up. You want to see more. Whether you want to promote, whether you just want to make more money, you want to be doing more shows, there's something that you want more of. So the first um, kickoff call, it was on Zoom, was yesterday. I posted the recording. So if you want to jump on and watch the recording and continue to participate, um, just need you to watch that recording and you'll hear the three things that um, I'm requesting that you do before next week. So go ahead and watch the recording, do those three things, and we'll um, continue on with the program. It's going to be Monday nights for the rest of February. And we're going to be working on sharpening your sales skills, your booking skills, and your recruiting skills at shows and outside of shows. So hopefully you'll find that helpful. All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of your day and um, make it a great week. Tomorrow is the end of week one. So get your sales in, get paid, and earn those rich rewards. 250 on the table for you. Let's get it done. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.